actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that yeah. is the that is if our you, job. Yeah. Oh my. It was a normal cringe-filled day like any other on Twitter when Elon Musk tweeted this at the end of March. Free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorously adheres to this principle? <laughs> no, I don't. Obviously, any human being that has lived in reality and has cognitive brain functions would agree that free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. The only ones that would disagree with this are fascists and far left liberals. And the line between them gets blurrier every day. Then Elon Musk tweeted this. Given that Twitter serves as the de facto public square, failing to adhere to free speech principles fundamentally undermines democracy. What should be done? Question mark. Is a new platform needed? Question mark. Yeah. Many of us assume that The Musk would create his own platform, but I'm sure he's smart enough to know that would lead to some issues that Minds and Getter is facing with low traction. And if you think that Big Tech doesn't stack the cards in their favor, you haven't been paying attention in between your trips to the lands between. What ensued afterwards was the most interesting thing to happen in this hellscape we call 2022. Usually your favorite celebrity dies. Teen naked cowboys in the showers at Grand Ranch. What are you, a uh, homo? <laughs> this video is sponsored by Rage Shadow Legend. They have agreed to meet my demands for a lifetime supply of canned tuna. Also, it's Raid's third birthday. And to celebrate, they're releasing the Hydras. Well, it's on brand with how 2020 has been going for me personally so far. Never mind all of that. In honor of Raid Shadow Legends' third anniversary, I will be naming my three favorite factions based solely on aesthetic appeal. The Knights Revenant, because I must strike fear into the hearts of my enemies. The Dark Elves, because she looks a lot like my ex-girlfriend, so losing her in battle won't faze me one bit. You deserve what you get! And the High Elves, because I have a crippling disease called gingivitis. This month, Raid's got an insane amount of things in store. We're talking new champions, an artifact set, and a full month of special events and tournaments, with some of Raid's best ever prizes on offer, including badass champions and piles of shards. This is a great time to get into Raid if you haven't already been playing. If you click the link in the description, you will get a package worth $40. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. So we're talking three free champions, Mr. Recoil, Tiger Soul, and Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force XP Brews, and 10 Spirit Brews. Since it's Raid's birthday and the gifts keep on giving, all new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth $25. Just enter the promo code three years raid. It's just that easy. Click the link in the description and I'll see you in game. Or inflation just gets higher. A graphics card you want costs more. Or you're looking to buy a home, but you can't afford one because all the hedge funds are buying them up. On March 27th, Musk made his declaration of meme warfare. Seize the memes of production. On April 4th, Elon Musk bought 9.2% of stocks in Twitter. Before Musk bought in, Twitter's growth looked about as promising as Dark Side Phil's social blade. Ironically, Twitter is, is equally tone deaf and censorship happy as Dark Side Phil. Okay. All right. Boy. And the punishment for the sin of asking a question is a permanent ban. Time for yeah. you exposed. to be exposed. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, um, Diane, sorry, get those receipts away from me. Pyrag pretended to act as if he was happy Musk was the largest shareholder when literally he was trying to meme on Musk the day before he bought the shares. And I quote, The consequences of this poll will be important. Please vote carefully. Big funny Mr. Man who said that Twitter wasn't a free speech platform, but we all pretend like it didn't happen. 
If they're not going to make a distinction between... Oh, wait, that's something he said himself a while back. If they're not going to make a distinction between Muslims and extremists, then why should I make a distinction between white people and racists? Yeah, that's something that, like, the CEO of Twitter should be saying. Granted, he said that in, what, 2010? But really, you know, those sort of sentiments just don't die. They get buried when you get a bigger paycheck. When Elon bought the uh, stocks, this is what Parag had to say then. I'm excited this year that we're appointing Elon Musk to our board. Huh? Through conversation with Elon in recent weeks, it became clear to us that he would bring great value to our board. He's both a passionate believer and an intense critic of the service, huh? which is exactly what we need on Twitter and in the boardroom to make us stronger in the long term. Welcome, Elon. That had to be a holy shit moment not seen since the Joker versus Batman in the old Adam West TV show. Oh, you can say that over the phone, Batman, but if I had you here, I'd pound you to a pulp. <laughs> Start pounding, Joker. Well, after putting out his meaningless PR speak message in the time we will now know as the digital dark age, that's when the sh really hit the fans, kids. Let me tell you. The blue check marks on Twitter had a full blown meltdown. Some of them went absolutely catatonic. And a couple of them tried to act like they had their finger on the pulse of the cultural zeitgeist by making hip, cool pop culture references to really resonate with the Zoomers how bad Musk was. How do you do, fellow kids? What? Amazing, yes! We are entering the, we are entering what future historians will call the Joker era. You either die a hero or live long enough to see Elon Musk become your largest shareholder. Elon Musk is Lex Luthor of our timeline, but more racist. He is not one of the good guys. His 9.2% of Twitter should worry you. Saudi Arabia owning Twitter doesn't bother you. We're living in some kind of more demented version of the sitcom Silicon Valley, but the body count is a lot higher. But as you know, children, this is Twitter, and the retardation is only the tip of the iceberg. Prepare yourself for more really bad hot takes. You've been warned. Elon Musk may buy 9.2% stake in eat and die. You fuck. Loco? What is that? How does this person have a blue check mark, but Twitter won't give me one? What the f? We said we wanted fewer Nazis on here. Uh, how is Elon Musk a Nazi? Really? How? Electric cars? Elon Musk has done more for the world than any of these people would ever dream of doing, even in their wildest fantasies, because they're just so self centered. Elon Musk must be stopped. The mad supervillain Elon Musk. Why not just join forces with Putin? This is the end of the world as we know it. Well, are you retarded? This was pointed out to me by a Patreon by the name of Possum God Mode. Thanks for the heads up, because I totally forgot. Elon Musk's Starlink satellites are helping Ukrainian drones destroy Russian tanks in the dead of night. Really, Kimberly? This is the end. This? And a good sign as to whether so there is free speech is, uh, is, is someone you don't like allowed to say something you don't like. And if that is the case, then we have free speech. And it's, it's damn annoying when someone you don't like says something you don't like. That is a sign of a healthy, functioning, uh, free speech situation. He's a monster. You may have noticed the theme of people saying that Elon Musk is racist. Where did it come from? Basically, it came from this. Tesla has to pay a $137 million lawsuit to a black employee who sued over racial discrimination. This was updated on October 5th of 2021. Blew over my head. I don't know about it. I'm staring at editing programs all the time. Owen Diaz worked at Tesla and he heard people sling the N-word at him and say things like, go back to Africa. In all honesty, I've worked at Walmart and been subjected to that before. I wish I knew I could have sued. But point being, this happened in a Tesla factory. How does this make Elon Musk himself racist? The fact that I heard these same things at Walmart and other jobs, but we'll stick with Walmart because it's a major conglomerate. Does that make Sam Walton a racist? Could have happened. He was old as hell. 
but that's beside the point. You see, nobody gives anyone the benefit of the doubt on Twitter. It's just basically if you don't align with a political party and they dislike you, if you're even remotely related to someone bad or something bad that happened, you are guilty by association. Welcome to the Internet. I can't get through these two. They're too stupid. Pam Keith, isn't she like some sort of politician? Stop buying Elon Musk's products. Wait, hold on. Wasn't the Biden administration all about us going green and getting electric cars? Didn't your side of the fence literally tell us all when the gas prices went up that we should probably look into an electric car? Like an electric car costs less than a full tank of gas in New York or L.A., you... His company is racist AF, and he's going to destroy Twitter. Twitter is already destroyed. Like you really have a lying white supremacist hack on your board and acting like that's anything to celebrate. Terrifying! If Elon Musk's vision version of Twitter is anything like his Tesla factories, then racists will get verified and people of color will be told to be cool about it. Stupid! You're so stupid! I assume Elon Musk will use his influence on Twitter board to argue that Hashtag black Twitter should be offset from white Twitter. He'll call it normal Twitter, and then he'll only give white Twitter the edit function. Your thoughts? What? By now, it should be clear to even the most obtuse that letting oligarchs accumulate wealth and power without limit is a direct threat to the democracy of civilization. Then they got BLM in their, their profile. Hello? Oligarchs control the news media, you brainlet. You, where have you been? But we are concerned about the trouble and trend that is responsible. One-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. On social media. More alarming than some media outlets. Politics and 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 politics control right. uh, exactly what people think and that yeah. is the that is if our you, job yeah it'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic no what the heck i'll laugh anyway <laughs> do you know how many billionaires bought newspapers in the last two let it go these people don't know anything they just know buzzwords on twitter like little parrots Looking forward to another billionaire helping to encourage fascism and further undermine democracy because he got his twist about a few of his tweets being received poorly. He's willing to lose money on Twitter. He's willing to lose billions of dollars to buy Twitter. And you think a tweet bothered Elon Musk. You're a psychopath. I'm pissed off I lose $20. Elon Musk is a white supremacist, fascist, capitalist, imperialist, colonizer. Free speech hashtag. Transgendered rights. Elon Musk is a white supremacist dickhead. Do they all, like, write the same stuff or am I crazy? We don't need any more of his influence in social media, especially Twitter. Elon Musk's massive Twitter <laughs> purchases should terrify anyone who isn't a white supremacist. Why am I not scared? The things that should terrify these people don't because it's in their favor. Hey, racist scum, Elon Musk. Pay some taxes, you... Wow, Tony Barber, you're retarded. Elon Musk just paid billions in taxes. It was all over the news. Tony Barber, you're retarded. <laughs> pay your taxes, Elon Musk. The dude pay more in taxes last year than any of us will see in our lives. But somehow, Tony Barber missed it. And it's not that I'm defending Elon Musk. I don't care about Elon Musk. But I'm just so tired of, like, progs just being so completely out of touch with things. Because they operate on feelings and not logic or reality. Reality is a hindrance. In reality, you're a 40-year-old balding man. But in your fantasies and your fifis, you're an attractive woman that's like 27. So Twitter will just become an extension of Elon Musk's timeline. Misogynist shit. Loving <laughs> fascist drivel. <laughs> Elon Musk fascist Narcissistic psychopath wants to take over Twitter and turn it into a white supremacist platform. There's nothing funnier than someone who doesn't have any talking point but calling someone a racist and a fascist. Ah, uh, you white supremacist, evil racist, Elon. 
Oh, good work, Baba. You're preaching the Lord's words. Craigers. Elon Musk is a piece of sh human. He thanks extremists and a hate for free speech? He's the poster boy of billionaire excess. He should be stripped of everything he owns. Eat the king rich Elon first. Wow, you're stupid. The true antithesis of billionaires would be, I don't know, Jeff Bezos. The dude bought a boat. He made a yacht so big that they literally have to take down a bridge that has stood since World War II just to get the yacht through it. Elon Musk is living in like some stupid little house that even I wouldn't want to live in and I'm poor. And this person's like, Elon Musk is so excessive. Let's take it on another level. Nerd Roddick used to work at the Tesla factory and he's only ever talked about the amazing benefits he had at his job. Everyone that I talked to that worked at Amazon either A, had no time to take a piss or B, wanted to commit suicide. <laughs> On top of that, the level of campaigning that Amazon had done to try and keep unions from becoming a thing is nothing short of egregious, one would say. Amazon ramps up anti-union messages ahead of the New York City worker vote. If you even look at one article, this one starts with Natalie, a warehouse worker in the Amazon factory in Staten Island, desperately needed to go to the bathroom, but she says her manager wouldn't let her. Damn that Elon. Damn him and those benefits. So many white suppressivists and scumbags have huge racist hard-ons for Elon Musk. What proof is this? You just can't say something and then it becomes true. You can't repeat, oh, he's a racist and a white supremacist. And if you like him, you are one too. It doesn't make it true. But then again, like I said before, this is the age of how people feel being reality and reality being an inconvenience that's occasionally a controversial view. Why did you all miss the memo that not only is he an awful narcissist, white supremacist jerk, but Elon Musk and his company have been proven to be racist. Who's going to replace Twitter before the... Oh, good Lord. Get out of here. I'm so tired. Now it's just basically replies where people are sending Elon Musk endless seas of hate. Elon Musk buying Twitter, I genuinely think I might have a bit more freedom to speak my mind without having to worry about getting canceled or banned off of the platform. That's about it. How these people don't already look at Twitter and see it as a horrible, horrible thing. When Jack Dorsey himself actually came out and said that he regretted making Twitter, does that not actually hit you somewhere in your head and make you think, whoa, maybe this platform is hot garbage when the dude who created it now laments it like the dude who created the atom bomb. No, I'm sorry, Jack Dorsey. Twitter was fine before Elon Musk was possibly going to buy it. Everything was cool up until now, Jack. You made a great platform. We can all band together like the French Revolution digitally and get rid of any celebrity we don't like. Elon Musk himself pointed out at one time, I got to go find the tweet, that literally a lot of celebrities don't even tweet anymore because they're so tired and fearful of the insane mob that lives here, like a bunch of little gremlins, socialist gremlins, and they all run around. I feel like I'm turning into <laughs> Alex Jones, <laughs> but he's not wrong. These literal vampire pot belly goblins are hobbling around and coming after us. <laughs> and they come out and they're like, I'm poor and I don't want to work. So I want you to redistribute other people's wealth. <laughs> and if you don't want to give the money, you're a bigot. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Booty. Having some booty. Was more important than drinking water, man. Twitter, bro, you don't even know. If Elon Musk bought Twitter, 
and closed it down, I would literally think it was an act of God. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this platform. <laughs> and a lot of the people on it are just, they're monsters. They're broke monsters. <laughs>
Say something common sense about gender. Say something factually true. And guess what? Boom, you're a transphobe and a bigot. He's a monster. Say Biden is anything short of the Messiah and look out, you're a MAGA hat or something and you're part of the problem. You, you probably have racist beliefs and the best part is these people will quickly I hate this channel. No, no! Call you a white supremacist. I remember that I said during the BLM riots, I sat there and said, this isn't what Dr. Martin Luther King stood for. You know what happened, dude? A white man came into my Twitter and told me what it was like to be black in America. I damn near lost my mind. Shit getting out of hand now. <laughs> it captures the African-American experience. Twitter is a sh show for employees since Elon Musk took a major stake report show. What happened? The uncertainty left Twitter workers feeling super stressed about the future, with employees reportedly working together to help each other get through the week. <laughs> My God, it's like an excerpt from the diary of Anne Frank. We had to huddle together to help each other get through the week and pray that Elon Musk didn't find us in the attic. What these people are terrified of is the idea that people that they don't like will be able to be heard and present their argument on current events. Twitter is the only place where JK Rowling can receive death threats and everything is cool. And God forbid, a gimmick account keeps records of bad takes from political figures or informs the public of Nancy Pelosi's stock tradings. No, those have to go. They're over the line. They're toxic. They violate the innocuous TOS that is as ambiguous as YouTubes and Twitches, which basically means if we don't like you, you have to go. That's the goddamn TOS. You go in there looking for justice and you'll find exactly that. It's just us. Also, take into account most politicians in America and abroad Get their information from Twitter. ALC spends more time being an influencer than a politician. Some major thing goes down, you could bet your ass ALC will attach herself to any movement like a tick that will make her look good. Do you remember when uh, the Hong Kong meet was going around and people on Twitter and 4chan joke that it meant Hitler? And then a politician literally thought this was true and did a speech on television quoting it. How much vitriol do we have to see of Hong Kong, which is an acronym for Hail Hitler? <laughs> it shows you just how much power Twitter has, and it also shows you how much effort some of these people put into their talking points. Not to mention that Twitter seems to have a major influence over movies, television, and comic books. The most egregious is the comic book industry. When you think about the Twitter whisper networks that have gone out of their way to basically shoehorn in a progressive narrative and agenda that has been slowly killing the comic book industry like stage four cancer, it's mind blowing. When you think about how companies cater stuff towards Twitter people and then release it and it bombs. But if I recall correctly, and I'm gonna be real with you, I'm too lazy to hunt this down. I'm already tired of this. Twitter had stipulations for Musk. I'm sure openly making fun of the broken system is a no-no. I know how that is, and I know how it feels. That's why I don't have a YouTube partner manager. I also recall that he was locked out of buying more stocks in Twitter. I think he had a 15% cap if he joined the board. So pretty much they wanted to control the situation in all aspects, which is no surprise. This is how Twitter operates. So Musk turned it down. I highly doubt they would listen to a damn thing he had to say anyway. They would outvote him every time. Since he turned it down, he can buy more stocks to become the majority shareholder. All he needs is 51% of the shares. Then Musk could implement changes as he saw fit. And the mainstream media, at the very idea that Elon Musk could do this, acted as if Hitler came back from the dead and was doing victory laps around Germany. Elon Musk's vision for the internet is dangerous nonsense. 
Musk has long advocated a libertarian's vision of an uncontrolled internet. That's also the dream of every dictator, strongman, and demagogue. Yeah, North Korea is real well known for their internet that allows people to do whatever they want. North Korea is the best internet in the world. What about China's internet? That's pretty good too. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. They let you do what you want there. Yeah. Elon Musk goes full goblin mode. The world's richest man, somehow who used to be compared to Marvel's Iron Man, is increasingly behaving like a movie supervillain, commanding seemingly unlimited resources with which to finance his mischief making. Elon Musk's Twitter bid is it about free speech? I wouldn't be surprised if some of these outlets were owned by other billionaires. Quickly, tell the masses Elon Musk is bad. Not the possibility of World War III looming off into the distance, glowing ever redder and ever more communist. Forget about that. It's Elon Musk. Elon Musk might just let Donald Trump get his Twitter back. And that is the most horrible thing that could happen in our timeline right now. Not the gas shortages. Not a world war. Please, God, don't let Donald Trump back on Twitter. <laughs> Once it became clear that Elon Musk could possibly just buy out Twitter and reshape it into a less left-leaning platform, blue check marks then sprung into action yet again, using a list of buzzwords that they wield like shitty magic spells. Like Doctor Strange if he had Asperger's. I don't want to leave Twitter, but it seems a given that if Elon Musk buys it, it will become completely uninhabitable for trans people and lots of other people. Why am I not shaking in my boots? Elon Musk buying Twitter is the end of the world, basically. You'll amplify every extremist right-wing Nazi he can find. If Elon Musk successfully purchases Twitter, it could result in World War III and the destruction of our planet. This will create World War III. I, uh, let me go get it. Oh, oh my God. This is, the, I can't, I cannot. If Elon Musk allows Trump back on Twitter, it will be the death blow to all the free world. Trump's big lie will spread like a virus. I discuss the dangers of Trump's big lie for Salon. Like Hitler's big lie, it must not be normalized. Less fascism return. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. That one is specifically stupid. Like, what does that mean? What does it have to do with Trump? If Trump comes back, his big lie will spread like a fish. What's the big lie? You know what big lie we're living in? That he's a good leader. He's so zonked out of his goddamn mind. He just did a speech and turned around to shake hands with nobody. <laughs> then confusingly walked off stage. The big lie here is he's fine. And somehow Trump being back on Twitter will be a death blow to the free world. Not the fact that China has hypersonic missiles. Nah, that's not the big problem. Or that Russia now has small arms nuclear weapons. No, that's not, nah, nothing. Fake news. Donald Trump gets to come back and tweet some dumb <laughs> shit. All of a sudden we're lost. Get him out of here. Jesus Christ. The things these people focus on is so stupid that literally I could do a whole video on some of these tweets. Trying to dissect them to figure out just what the hell's going on. Where's Marvin Gaye when you need him? Twitter has retards. Today on Twitter feels like the last evening in Berlin nightclub at the twilight of Wingmar, Weimar in Germany. <laughs> The reason Truth Social Gab and all these other white wing platforms have failed is smart people don't want to spend our time there. How do you know Gab is right wing? If these social media platforms are right wing, then guess what? Twitter is hyper left wing. The cognitive dissidence, it's Brianna Wu of all people. So 
you know, the moon rocks person. Oh, the United States government could use moon rocks as weapons and use it for art as artillery from space. The game developer that made her own hate blog on Steam to try and drum up people to say bad things about her to use it to further her sh career, Brianna Wu. You have no credibility. If Musk buys Twitter, dismantles everything the truth and safety team has done, many of us will go elsewhere. It will literally destroy Twitter. Please Musk buy Twitter. If it gets rid of Brianna Wu, please buy it, sir. Get shoo, 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 shoo. Not you, Fluffy, I'm sorry, baby. Oh. I'm sorry, Fluffy. I'm so sorry. I just, I lost myself. These people are criminals. Arrest them. Elon Musk, buy Twitter. I will pledge my allegiance to you. I will be the leader of your Gestapo. I will hunt these people. And I will ban them personally. While wearing an SS officer's uniform. Oh, no, no, no. No, you cannot joke about that. And I can <laughs> I could get in trouble for making jokes because that's the world we live in now. Breaking news, Twitter insiders tell the Wall Street Journal that Twitter is weighing a poison pill that would prevent Elon Musk from taking over Twitter by increasing the stake in the company. Retweet if you think that Twitter must prevent Elon Musk's hostile takeover. Only 10 retweets. What does that tell you? Retweet this if you think that they should stop them. 10 retweets. Guess you got your answer. Must should stick to cars. Twitter should reject his offer. This isn't just about money. It's about public health and safety, civil and human rights, and democracy. I don't feel like I have civil and human rights here on Twitter. I don't feel it at all. And I'm a minority. I know all I have to do is like the wrong tweet or voice an opinion that I do believe. I mean, look what happened to Gina Carlo, for God's sakes. She did the same thing Pedro Pascal did. But the difference was she leaned to the right. So they scooped her ass up and threw her right out the Mandalorian. And we're sitting here and pretending like everything's fair. Cut the shit out. I think like to get a blue check mark on Twitter now, you need to be completely out of touch with reality and the common person. I am frightened by the impact on social media and politics if Elon Musk acquires Twitter. He seems to believe that social media, anything goes. For democracy to survive, we need more content moderation, not less. Hey, Jake. How about that? For you. No. You see that? For democracy to survive, we need more censorship. On what planet does that make any sense? God help me. I bet this person went to college. I'd rather Elon Musk build his own and leave this one alone. Of course you would. Because that's what's worked. Elon Musk trying to buy Twitter would upset the game in a way it's never happened before. Because control would be lost. This isn't about money. It's about control at this point. We see it now. The idea of people being able to be a little bit more free on Twitter within reason is unacceptable. Unacceptable. They need Twitter to stay as stringent as it is. They need Twitter to continuously be an echo chamber of ideas and fifis so that anyone who dare challenges the status quo will be completely rejected and ostracized, if not canceled, and have their entire career taken from them. Nobody's sitting here and everybody getting together and going, you know what, cancel culture is really bad. No, they'll sit there and tell you cancel culture doesn't exist until Whoopi Goldberg's ass is in the fire. And they're like, we need to stop cancel culture. Dear Elon, God, your ego's way bigger than your judgment and your money doesn't make you a decent leader of a damn thing. You run a racist company and I will never let my words drive your bottom line. I'll be doing all I can to convince liberals not to buy your shit. Elon Musk is why to abolish billionaires. Asking them to chip in their fair share isn't enough. Regulating them isn't enough. They already own us all. Where have you been? When people are allowed to acquire this much concentrated influence, they will inevitably manspread economic power into every other form of power. If Elon Musk succeeds in his takeover of Twitter, I will leave the platform. See ya, Nicholas. I have nothing to do with someone who finds it funny to post Nazi memes. What an animal.
right wing lunatics may despise us and the standards of civility we expect, but the truth is their social media networks fail without us. Who are you again? What have you done other than be a professional victim? You know what's amazing about all of this? These people are acting as if Twitter doesn't already have billionaires that own part of this platform and they already get to set the narratives. It already exists. Twitter is far from free speech. You are free to speak however you choose as long as you tell the in vogue talking points of the time. How many billionaires own media outlets? Hell, I think Bill Gates owns the most farmland of anyone else in the world. But Musk trying to take control of Twitter and allowing people to actually be able to meme without fear of being banned, now that's over the line. Remember when Carlos Maza was exposed by a reporter for being rich? Maza's whole thing was pretending that he was like a normal, poor, broke socialist fighting the capitalist system. He even had a Patreon for it. The journalist proved that Maza was indeed actually grew up rich and the dude's house that he grew up in was gigantic, bro. His living room was bigger than my entire apartment. Do you know what happened? Twitter suspended that reporter. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up Carlos Maza, because people forget he militarized Gay Pride Month on Twitter in what, 2018, 2019? Because he was mad at Steven Crowder, who wasn't funny in the first place. Maza knew that what he was doing was going to affect advertisers on YouTube and overall affect the entire ecosystem of YouTube. People who made a living off of YouTube, people that weren't rich. He didn't care. You know why he didn't care? Because he is financially stable. In every sense of the word, he brought more destruction to YouTube over his personal vendetta with a guy and then still sat there and doubled down after all the shit hit the fan. Point being, the reason why he wasn't affected by the plight of people broke on YouTube was because he was born rich and he had the right political faction to gain some protection on Twitter. Moral of the story, Twitter is already bias. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah. We even have a woman who's running for Congress. Vote against her. Because it's clear she isn't fit for the job. Now, why do I say that? Her big flex on Elon is his money. And how she feels he should be spending it rather than trying to buy Twitter. Elon Musk has enough money to end homeless and hunger. But instead, he wants to buy Twitter. Tax him because no single individual should have the power. Or so much money buys. Fund publicly owned housing. In the richest country on earth, the planet shouldn't be burning while billionaires take vanity rides into space. And I hate to have to defend a billionaire because that goes against my principles. But also, sitting back and watching stupid shit fly also bothers me. Elon Musk also donated $5.7 billion in Tesla shares to charity in November. If this woman's running for Congress, why didn't she look that up? I, I honest to God couldn't tell you. You can Google. How much money does Elon Musk give to charity? At times, Musk does provide transparency about his donations. Last year, he gave $50 million to St. Jude's Children's Hospital Research. One of the people in here in this Twitter timeline of basically broke socialists thinking they should get a handout started screaming he should give money to St. Jude's. Turns out he gave 50 million last year. How much did you give last year? Well, probably nothing. What you give is your opinion for other people to do something. I'm not gonna do something. I'm just gonna tell you how other people who could do something should do something, but I'm not doing anything. Bro, this dude literally confused Elon Musk with Jeff Bezos. How do you confuse SpaceX with Blue Origin? He also donated about 30 million to a variety of public schools and nonprofits in South Texas where SpaceX builds its rockets. Apparently, Elon's doing more than most of us are doing. He's obviously doing more than Rebecca, but it's so easy to just jump out on Twitter and say billionaires need to pay taxes, eat the rich, give money to poor people. It'll become a trending tweet because Twitter, like I said before, is full of literal vampire potbelly goblins. Who can't ever imagine someone with some power doing something good because they themselves do nothing. So they project the nothing they do on everyone else. Well, I was as rich as him. I'd do something. No, you wouldn't because you're not doing anything now. You're a prick. 
There was even this tweet back in the day. Fun facts. 2% of Elon Musk's wealth, $6 billion in 2020 in the UN's World Food Program, blah, 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 blah. If uh, 2% of Elon Musk's wealth could solve world hunger, says director of UN Food Scarcity Organization. If the WFP can describe on this tweet thread exactly how $6 billion would solve world hunger, I will sell Tesla stock right now and do it. Because the truth is, you'll never solve world hunger. You will never solve homelessness. It will never happen. It's not Elon's job to fix the damn world or any other person who's made some money, to be honest. By this logic, the average American with a home should have their wealth redistributed to the local homeless. Because by the local homeless standards, you're rich. Do you see how <laughs> that sounds? And frankly, if you pay taxes, your wealth is being redistributed anyway. Lord knows I'm paying. You'll never get rid of homelessness, ever. It'll never happen. We will never have a world like Star Trek The Next Generation because we all suck. Because we're all selfish pieces of <laughs> It's just like the war on drugs. It will only ever end when all humans are dead. Because no matter what, someone's gonna try and figure out a way to get high. Even if World War III happened and we got blasted back in the Stone Age and we're figuring out how to build a civilization again, somebody would be eating weeds and roots. Like, I don't know what this twig does, but when I chew it a little bit, I feel tingly in my balls. It's just going to repeat. Elon offered to buy Twitter for over 38% of its market value at $54.20, $43 billion. Twitter isn't worth $54 a share. Hell, it ain't even worth $30 a share. But if they refuse this offer, he will rethink the stocks that he owns, which means he'll most likely sell them, which will kill Twitter stock yet again. So either way, Elon Musk will win. Frankly, I'm in it. I'm in it for the lulls. If he buys Twitter, good. Let's see if something interesting happens. If he doesn't, he sells the stock. I'll watch the stock plummet and giggle the whole way through. Because Twitter sucks. Gilbert Godfrey died and all people did was wish he burn in hell. And we're sitting here pretending Twitter's a nice place. Like what type of person sits there and wishes someone burns in hell they don't even know him? He made some jokes I didn't like. I hope he burns in hell. The place of ultimate awfulness for all eternity because he made a joke you didn't like. That's how twisted you got to be. I've already sold my Twitter stock because I'm pretty sure they're never going to sell it to Elon Musk. And most likely this will kill the value of the stock and I've already lost money. And I'll be damned if Twitter didn't do the poison pill stock. What is a poison pill? Well, let's find out together. The poison pill, as it's called in corporate terms, gives Twitter existing shareholders time to purchase additional shares at a discount, thus diluting Musk's ownership stake. The move is designed to make it difficult for anyone, including Musk, to build a stake worth more than 15% of the company. A poison pill gives existing shareholders the ability to purchase additional shares in the company at a discount, which in turn dilutes the stake of the person or party seeking to buy the company. So there you go. Twitter is willing to ruin its own stock even more to stop Elon Musk from possibly allowing a few extra memes. And one thing I've noticed about frogs is this. They only care about winning, no matter the cost, no matter the moral gray area. It's a lack of a moral compass. And that's saying something coming from me. There's one tweet that I saw that perfectly summed up the situation, or I should say encapsulated it perfectly. In fact, you don't even need this video because this one tweet says it all. So let me get this straight. The progressive left is now rooting for Saudi Arabia, Wall Street, Vanguard, and BlockRock against free speech. Liberty and the dude who makes electric cars and is going to Mars. What exactly? It's about winning at all costs. It doesn't matter whose side they're on as long as their side wins. It seems weird that these people would just be so against the idea of elon musk versus those that are actually in control of twitter for god knows how many years i'm not gonna bother looking up instagram girls that go to see saudi princes in dubai look it up yourself the stuff that some of these girls say they do for money is wild but hey they're better people than elon musk the guy who makes electric cars versus the guys whose entire lives they've been rich and wealthy the guy who is self-made and is doing zero emissions vehicles versus the guys who are selling natural gases.
I don't know. I really don't know, dude. Let's read a few brainlet tweets as they squeal with glee over this perceived victory over fascism. What I wouldn't give to drop some of these people in the 1940s Germany for a day. That's fascism. Elon Musk trolling the Twitter oligarchy is a welcome reprieve from the usual nightmare we are all in. What will happen next, honest to God, I don't know. But it could be interesting, so I'll stay tuned. Good night, everybody. I leave you with the progressive. Poison pill vanguard Elon Musk. To all you Elon Musk supporters, there's the door. Get the f Twitter. LOL, I'm getting so much heat from Elon Musk simps who want to engage me in a debate. LOL, don't waste your time. I block swiftly. You do you, and I do me, and I'm not a democracy, so fuck. So, that's all you need to know. This person doesn't support democracy in any way, shape, or form. Unless it's them saying and doing something, then that's fair. You need to shut up, though. You Elon Musk bootlicking stands must be crying in your beers right now. Hashtag poison pill. I think Elon Musk is desperately trying to become the next Trump for the uneducated morons. Good thing he wasn't born in the U.S. One less clown in the contest for the White House. Elon Musk poison pill. I'm done. This video is pure cancer. Just like Twitter. I'm dead inside.